welcome back everyone so today i will be explaining that how to install windows without any kind of bootable usb so if you're on windows 10 and want to install windows 11 or already on windows 11 like me and want to install windows 10 then you can easily do that now here the very first thing that you will have to do you need to create two different partition where the first partition will be of 7 gigabyte that we will be using as a bootable usb and the other partition will be the one where we will be installing the windows now if you look on my end i have already two partition over here local disk c and local disk e now i don't have to create two partition here because i already have one partition where i can install my windows operating system but if you don't have any other partition then you will have to create it which is very simple make a right click on the windows icon then you have to click on disk management click on yes now here you have to make a right click on the c drive then click on shrink volume now this will be looking for the available space to shrink and then it says enter the amount of space to shrink in mb so as i said the first partition will be of 7 gigabyte that we will be using to install windows so just type the amount like 7100 and then click on shrink and you will find around 7 gigabyte unallocated space will be created now make a right click on it choose new simple volume click on next 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 now in the volume label here just rename it to either to bootable usb or iso because we are using it as a bootable usb then you have to click on next and finish and now you can see that a new partition has been created now if you don't have another partition like me then again you have to make a same steps make a right click on it shrink volume and create another partition of at least 25 gigabyte where you can install the windows operating system so now if i go to my file explorer so i have the two partition here one partition is that i will be using to install windows and other partition is where i will be installing the windows all right so we are all done with the first step and now in the next step what you will have to do bring up any of your favorite browser like google chrome and now you have to download the windows iso so let's say i'm on windows 11 and i want to install windows 10 so i will look for windows 10 iso download and then i will click on the first link but if you are trying to install windows 11 then you have to type windows 11 iso download and again you can click on the first link of microsoft and download the iso from here now here on windows 10 page you will not be getting the direct link to download the windows 10 iso so here only make a right click on any of the blank space then click on inspect now from the right hand corner click on the three dot Hover up to more tools then you have to click on network conditions and below you'll find user agent so you have to uncheck use browser default and make it to chrome os so once you have selected now you can reload the page and then close this inspect element box so this time if you scroll down you will find the iso option here so click on the drop down of select edition choose windows 10 multi edition click on confirm choose the product language i will go with english united states then click on confirm and then choose a version 32 or 64 bit architecture whichever you want to go with i will go with 64 bit download so click on it and the downloading will be started now it will take some time it's around 5.7 gigabyte and if you're downloading windows 11 it should be around 6.3 gigabyte and that is the reason i ask you to create a partition of at least 7 gigabyte okay so wait here until it's all been downloaded and once it get downloaded you have to make a right click on the iso file then you have to click on mount then click on open and now here you will find all the windows 10 installation file so what you have to do here select all these file right click on it and choose copy now go back to the partition that you created for 7 gigabyte open it and paste all the file over here now keep in mind that you have to follow the same steps no matter you are installing windows 11 or windows 10 okay so once all the files are being copied now you can close it now click on your windows icon and now you need to press and hold the shift key from your keyboard and while holding the shift key you have to click on the power icon then click on restart and once you see this kind of please wait screen now you can leave the shift key and then finally you will come to the advanced option screen 
and here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option and then click on command prompt the black window of command prompt will be up now here we have to run few simple command in order to find out that which drive exactly contain our windows installation file and then we have to start the installation process from the command prompt only so first type disk part so that we can enter the disk partition then you have to list all the volume so type list space vol now it will list you all the volume inside this drive so now we are looking for a drive that is by the name iso that contains our windows installation file and what exactly you need here is the drive letter of this volume so on my end it's d drive but on your end it can be e f so whichever it is just make a note of it then you have to type exit to get out of the disk part and now you have to type the same drive letter so on my end it's d so i will type d then type colon back for a slash setup dot exe and the windows installation wizard will now be coming up now here you have to click on next click on install now if you know your product key you can enter it if not then click on i don't have a product key choose the windows addition if you're installing windows 11 then also you have to choose the addition i would recommend to go with the windows 10 or 11 pro select it click on next now accept the terms click on next now here you have to click on custom and now here you have to select the partition where you want to install the new windows operating system so if you remember i suggested you to create two different partition one of seven gigabyte through which we will be installing windows and another partition where we will be installing windows so if i scroll down i can find my this drive that is of 29 gigabyte i created so that what exactly you have to look for select it then you have to click on next and the windows installation will now be started so let's wait here until it's all been done So now during the installation if you get again this kind of a screen then you have to select the same operating system that you are installing so i'm installing windows 10 on my windows 11 so i will click on windows 10 and if you're installing windows 11 on windows 10 then you have to select windows 11. and now finally you have to configure your windows operating system so choose the country region click on yes choose the right keyboard layout then click on yes click on skip then it says how would you like to set up so you can go with the personal or the organization so choose according to your need and then you have to click on next and then it will ask you to enter the microsoft account phone or skype name so i will just type the microsoft email and then i have to click on next now i need to type the password so i will type the password click on next create a pin so yes okay i can create a pin click on okay once you are done then click on not now disable all these options okay so now you can see that windows 10 has been successfully installed on our windows 11 machine now this time if i bring up my file explorer so you can see three different files over here new volume c that contains our windows 11 local disk d that contains our windows 10 and iso that we created as a bootable usb so now we don't need this e drive because we are done with installing the windows so now what you can do right click on the windows icon go to disk management right click on this iso drive click on delete volume click on yes and once it will be unallocated now we can add this space again back to the c drive or the d drive wherever you want to so right click on it click on extend volume click on next next and finish and now if i close it so you can see that i have only two partition over here with the name local disk c and the local disk d okay so now it's all up to you if you only want to continue with windows 10 then you can go ahead and take the data from the c drive transfer to the d drive and then you can format the c drive but if you want to use both the operating system then you are all done simply go ahead and restart the computer and every time it will be asking you that you want to go with the windows 10 or windows 11. So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye